Hey guys, this is 100 Percenter, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your characters overpowered before the first major dungeon. This will, this guide will get you weapons like these, as well as armors like these, and then accessories like so. If you see our stats, we are pretty strong and our characters are low level, level 16, and we can take on just about any boss in the game. Well, not in the game, but up till the third dungeon. So the third dungeon is down here. We can even pretty much finish the story of the third dungeon and then we unlock 600 quality as well as uh, the Genesis Stone, which then allows us to get to the next tier of weapons and armor. But in any case, here's a showcase of what we can do. Remember this, he is resistant to most of our attacks. So I'm showing you this when we are uh, technically at a disadvantage. See, a lot of XP, real quick, no problems, and we get a China, the giant puny bull. So, I will go to my atelier and I will show you guys how to do this. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so now we're going to be making Ryze's weapon. This is a 100 quality weapon that is probably the best that it can be currently without going too overboard with trying to force certain traits to go on or anything like that. You don't need any more than this in order to breeze through the first two whole dungeons, right? So, let's get to building it. A little bit before we build it, I will explain a little bit about crafting. So when you craft, when you unlock the morphing uh, skill, you are able to move one recipe to another. So the true handmade stuff will become a mystical wonder. The thing when that happens is the level of the mystical wonder will be a level four mystical wonder. This means that when we get to having to rebuild the weapon we will have more levels to play around with which effectively allows us to put more on the weapon now at this level not super important but much later we will have to do this otherwise we won't be able to grab everything we want from a weapon that being said it's time for me to show you how to craft this one this weapon is fairly simple all in all, we're going to need two ingots, two large bones, two ash, ten stratium, statium, yeah, statium, two travelers water orbs, and one tough log. This is both crafting and rebuilding the weapon. So let's start. First thing we need, ingots. Put an H of your choice here. You can see on the side what can get transferred. What's transferred is what is white, but you know, there we can put a pack charge in here. And then here we want one large bone. Then we want to put another H in here. And put another large bone in here. I should have one here. And then your first Statium. It's gonna level up the weapon. And then we wanna dump the rest of the Statium in here. Once that's done, put in the skills that you want. 
Now that that's done, we can go into item rebuild, we go back into the weapon, and then we add the tough log in here. If you see now, the level of the weapon on the top left has gone up from 4 to 6. So we want to put an ingot here. By what I understand, the levels go up as 1 plus the amount of pips that the item adds, right? So a three I, three cost will add four levels. A two cost will add three levels. A one cost will add two levels. So keep that in mind when you're building and crafting your own things. Easier for you to plan ahead. Then we can add the two water orbs here. Which will unlock all the traits. We don't need more quality. We're already fully qualityed. And that's the weapon. So we want to grab here. We grab the skill charge, the attack charge, and the mana heat. Mana heat is very strong. Very, very strong. So, once that's built, finish it. And there we go. Ryza's weapon is done. Hold tight for the next one. All right, so now we're back for Tower's weapons. Again, same thing as uh, the Riser with uh, the spiel about uh, the craft. We all will always start from the lowest part, lowest weapon, and climb our way up towards his ultimate weapon. But it's going to be just one step up. The shopping list for this one is two ingots, two green neutralizers, one fortune fruit, one fuel coconut, eight startium, three gold unis, and six fairy stone fragments. With that, let's get to crafting. So, we want to start with cross daggers. First ingot. We'll put a green neutralizer here. I'm gonna keep it here so you guys see. Here we put a fortune fruit. Fuel coconut goes up here. The reason we put a fuel coconut is if you see it has the flammable trait. This will just give him fire damage. Well, increase his fire damage. He mana heat is giving um, fire damage. But with this at least because most of his attacks are fire, this will bump up his fire damage. After this, we want to put the second green neutralizer. And then put one star TM here. And then dump the rest of the star TM. This done, put flammable on top. Okay. With this crafted. We now go back to the rebuilding. And we put an ingot here. We put one golden uni here. Six fairy stone fragments. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we put one Stotium here, grab that effect, and then of course, because we've only got one, we need to put two more gold unis here to grab. Could actually get away with just one gold uni, but I put two. Because why not? And now because we've got the three, we just do this. Twin edge accomplished. That's how you make Tao's weapon. And I'll be back to make Putty's weapon. Alright, and we're back. This is for Putty's weapon. We had to do a little bit of gathering around and duplicating of items. But the shopping list for this guy is one ingot, one ash. One blue neutralizer, 
one green neutralizer, eight Startium, one medical moss, three cloths, two tough logs. This will make you the weapon. So here we go. We go down to index, throw in the, the only ingot, put an Asian here, put a blue neutralizer here, then we want to put a green neutralizer here, then we want to put one star here. And then we want to put seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, and then of course we put mana heat. Mana heat is massive in terms of just ridiculous amounts of power. Now I see that I made a mistake, so I need one more of you. So make that uh, nine Startium, not eight. But anyways, now we want to rebuild the weapon, go back into it. And we want to fill out the, the things that we need, right? So we need one more trait, right? So we just need to put one medical moss here. We don't care about the quality because we're already at 100 quality. Here we want to put uh, two tough logs because that's the lightning. Right, then here we want to put three cloths. That's the one. I get confused with some of the symbols. Sorry, guys. And then here we put one of the final start here. This here will create her best weapon, and this weapon is going to absolutely destroy when I get her. And that's how you make Patty's weapon. I will be right back with the materials to make the single chess piece that we're then going to multiply twice for everybody else. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. After a bit of gathering, I also needed to get more gems. Uh, I got everything we need for the for the armor now. Uh, this one is probably the most complicated one we're gonna have to do because it's gonna up level up about three or four times before getting there. But uh, just follow through and we should be fine. Now, for the shopping list: four alchemical fibers, one blue neutralizer, one dry grass, four restrained silks. 3 fluffy wool, 2 cloth, 4 cotton balls, 8 bestial air, 7 animal hides, and 1 tough vine. With that, let's get crafting. So here we want to start, not on an armor, but on cloth. We put first our chemical fiber here. We put the second one here. Put the blue neutralizer. And put the dry grass here. Two restrained silks. One here. Grab some speed along the way. Go with the two fluffy walls. Go to class. One cotton ball. Grab another set of speed for the next one. Now we put beast your air. And look, this is the example I was talking about at uh, on the first weapon. See how this leather protector is level two means we will have free reign at rebuilding this as far as we want to. Quite literally. Now we get this thing. Nice, good defense. Some uh, stun resist. But it's not done yet. 
We want to rebuild this. Wherever it is, here it is. Here, to rebuild this, we put a fluffy wall here. Put two alchemical fibers and a tough vine. We put one animal hide here. Six up here. Two bestial ears here. And then the last two cotton balls here. We've unlocked everything. We've got all the traits uh, unlocked. We've got quality to 100, so it's done. Make sure defense is first. And there you go. Leather protector. Now, what you want to do, instead of recrafting this as it is, you just go here, and then you say, wherever it is, do, 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 do. you go here, du multiply it by three, and then you'll have four. But then you multiply by two, and you'll have three. You only need three. So, I will go ahead, I will go and pick up a lot of resources right now because what we need now are the last, the, the two accessories here. These ones here, right? We want these guys built properly. And I will show you how to do that. So I'll see you in a little bit. And we're back. So this is gonna be the, the last part for uh, the craft and then I will do a showcase to sort of give you a pretty good idea of what you're looking at In this part, we're gonna make two Accessories one is an uni charm and the other one is a fluffy tail both of those they effects are Different so they don't overlap with one another and they complement each other making your characters pretty tanky as well as very quick so what we're going to need in terms of the shopping list are five Amatite Ores, two Aqua Ores, four Arcanite, two Unis, three Ingots, eight Startium, one Holy Stone Fragment, three Gold Unis, one Alchemical Fiber, one Tough Vine, ten Cotton Ball, one Amber Fragment, twelve Fluffy Wool, three Traveler's Water Orb, and three blessed feathers so with that out of the way let's get to crafting so both of these accessories are gonna start from the ingot we're gonna make the udi charm first and put the amatite ore here and just aqua ore arcanite we want Amatite Ore. And another Amatite Ore. Then we want two Unis here. With that, we want three ingots. And two Stadiums. Just put the speed on here. Then we rebuild this guy. Rebuilding it, we put a Stadium in here. Or a Gold Ring, it doesn't matter. Then we put... 10 cotton balls here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, sorry, 9, not 10. 9. Don't know why I put it as 10, but 9. Here we put 2 unis. Over here we put 1 holy stone fragment, because we just need the 1 pip so we can move on to the 2 gold unis. And then alchemical fiber and the tough vine. This gives us a fully built uni charm with speed charm. 
Okay, after this, we go back in here, go back to Ingot. And we start again. Amatide all. Aqua all. Arcanite. Here's where we deviate though. We put Amatide all here. So we put two Arcanites in here. And we skip all of this. We don't care about this. We go straight to two uh, Pentatite, I think they're called. Pentanite. Pentanite. Ember Fragment. Two Fluffy Wool. Then here we put as many Stardiums as we can, which is five in the defense charm M. And we craft this. Now we rebuild. This rebuild is a lot tighter. So there are things we won't be able to pick up, like the traits. I sacrificed the traits to get as much... Uh, to get as much... Of the effects as possible, right? So here, if you see, for example, with the gold unis here, we pick up this blessed this effect three, right? Speed charm L. Here we put one. Uh, we actually we just put one. We need three. Yeah, so it's one traveler's water orb. And here we put four fluffy walls. But here we put two more. Put two two feathers so we can access the top. On the top we put four walls. And you see now we've got seven points, so effectively we can put three. See so we can add this, but we won't be able to get more. So we can add this here, grab one more trait. And that's the fluffy tail. So now with this, we can... Let me just check to see if anything that I did make is better. One, four, yeah, that's quite a bit more speed. Let's check the armor. That is better, so I'm going to multiply it. Just remember, it's the same armor, so if it is better, it will be better for both, right? So now if I check here, more defenses. Let's check the uni charm. Three, four, three, four, four. Defense, eh, I'll put, the, I'll take it, the extra speed. This guy doesn't care. Fluffy tail. Fluffy tail, more speed. Oh, wait. I forgot to multiply those. So, Fluffy tail, it's the uni charm that Ryza has. And the Fluffy tail that Tao has. It goes up, and then you. Yeah, that's gonna be better. So, how about a showcase? Give you guys an idea of just how strong this makes our characters. They. What's a good boss to take down? We can t actually take out the uh, weasel up here. You will see whatever we do here is going to be replicated all the way to the third major dungeon. You can even finish the third major dungeon with it. Though what I would recommend is getting there so you can get the Degen Degenesis Stone, which allows you to go up another tier of weapons. And you will also be at 600 quality, so then we can make some even better weapons. And even armor. So... 
time for the showcase. <laughs> Of course, gotta keep him alive. We're not high level, so we do take a lot of damage. We should be able to finish it off now. As you saw, way more powerful than we are. No problems. So with this now, you can effectively power level your characters and become even better. Also, start collecting these plus, this plus skills. So with this, you will be able to unlock a whole lot more to materials to craft. You will also be able to do this entire section over here, as well as this entire section over here, and this whole section down here without too much trouble. Because remember, through here you're gonna pick up your third member. So we're adding another, another really powerful character to this. It will just be a breeze from here. What I suggest you do though, finish up this skill tree which I'm pretty much done with. As far as I can go, everything else is locked. I need you. I need just, I do need a few others like you. And you. But here we go. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys get really strong really quickly I will bring out another video of this uh, when I hit the 600 quality Which will probably be able to carry us all the way to the end of the game where we can then make the 999 super weapons, but until then This has been a hundred percenter and I'll see you guys later